Marvin, what's your thoughts after that one today? You're a bit happier? Yeah, I'm a bit happier. No, I'm delighted for the players. I really am. Um, you know, we spoke about before the game, three points being the main objective today, you know, and people should, well, might say, oh, that's the same every week. But, you know, we've been looking at performances and looking to try and get things implemented into our game plan for so today. By any means necessary, win that game of football. So I'm absolutely delighted for them. You know, they've all put their bodies on the line. Um, a couple of things that we could do better, but, you know, I'm not going to kill their weekend. You know, I asked for more goal scorers, I asked for more shots, and I got all of that today. Um, so, no, listen, as I said, I'm delighted for the players. For the last 20 minutes, we had to see a different side from the first 70. Yeah, of course, yeah, no, and good, si good sides can do both. You know, it's not all about attacking and free-flowing football. Sometimes, you know, your backs are going to be against a wall and you have to defend. You have to organise, you know, you're going to have to put your bodies on the line. And the players did that, you know. And, and that was a pleasing thing for me as well because it wasn't all plain sailing. It wasn't all in our favour. You know, uh, Edry came on strong, as he said, towards the end. They threw everyone up, they threw everyone forward and we had to deal with that. And that's a very, very pleasing side of it for me because I've got a real young team. Um, with, you know, two young centre-halves in there before Dave goes in there as well. Another young man in terms of football terms as well. Um, and, you know, they're absolutely brilliant, you know, getting their heads on to absolutely everything and organising. And, you know, they're growing week in, week out. They'll, they'll grow as players and they'll grow as, as young men and, you know, they'll make us better. We talked about it last week about the experience of Dunfermline so, and how young Queens were. So, but mm -hmm. that shows them that they can do just the same. Of course, you know, but you have to learn along the way. You know, no one becomes experienced, you know, as a baby and, and, or infancy in, in kind of football. And those experiences maybe from last week and seeing other players do it, you know, they've taken a little bit from that. And, you know, today they've done it themselves. And that for me is, is exceptional because it's very easy to be out there in games and go through the motions and think, oh, no, remember last time we could see the goal or this happened or that happened. You know, they put their bodies on the line and, and that's what you need from defenders. And then they showed the quality of the other side of that, you know, getting the ball down and playing. So, as I said, you know, I'm, I'm delighted for the whole team. Um, obviously, you know, Steph unfortunately put the ball in the back of the net and then he has to kind of shake that off and he goes on and plays very well for the, for the rest of the game. Um, and they're the big characters you need because I always say to the lads, mistakes are going to happen in life, in, in games of football, mistakes will happen. The only thing we can control is the reaction. You know, if you go on a, on a football pitch and say, I'm not going to make a mistake and if I do, I'm going to have a bad game, you're going to have a bad game week in, week out. So to deal with the adversity in that way, I'm extremely proud of the players. You said there you've asked others to step up and help Rudy really out with the goals. Three different goal scorers today and three decent finishes. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely brilliant. You know, and, and it's, it's fantastic to see the things we've worked on in training. Um, you know, the boys doing the match. You know, definitely Kieran and, and Gibbo's coming around the back post. We said it's so important that our opposite winger is getting in there. And it's a fantastic finish from Gibbo. I've actually got a video of him yesterday hitting one over from about two yards. He hit it into the floor and it bounces over. So I might upload that or get the club to upload it. And then, you know, but it comes to the real stuff and absolutely fantastic. 17 years of age, I keep saying the same thing. You know, yes, he's going to make mistakes, but he always gives you 100% and he deserves that goal today. Kieran as well, I think the last couple of weeks, his performance is probably merited on getting that goal today. Yeah, you know, kieran has been a thorn in, in defence last week and again, you know, in, in the edgy defence this week. You know, I thought he's absolutely fantastic. We've been working on slight things to get him in better positions, you know, to really, really use his strengths, which is running at players and, and getting at them. And we've had to alter kind of his positioning slightly. And he's taken it all on board. As I said, you know, he's a young player with a, with a bright future at this football club. Um, and it's just now about being consistent. How many times can you, you know, put in performances like that? That's two out of two for him. Um, he's been absolutely brilliant and he, he deserves his goal. And he said, just hit the target, boys. You know, hit that ball. If he hits the target, keeper might save it, might take a deflection, fall to somebody else, whatever else it might be. But, you know, I'm... So happy to see it find the back of the net because, as you said, he deserves it. His performances have deserved that. We prefer to focus on the positives, mm -hmm. but obviously the negative today is losing another goal from another set piece. Sandra, are you trying to give me grey hairs as well? <laughs> Come on, leave me alone. We just won the game three two. No, listen, we're, we're always. I'm always the same. You know, I'll, I'll get home from from here tonight and, and I'll rewatch the game and I'll clip it up and I'll see you know things that we did well and things we could do better. Um, definitely, I think they threw an extra player in for that set play and we weren't really aware of who was doing what. And again, that's why you always hear me shouting from the side, organise, organise. And again, it's, it's, it's a learning curve, isn't it? It's a lot easier to learn when you win a game of football than it is, you know, when you lose one. So, listen, the boys, as I said, they're like sponges. You know, they'll learn from that and we'll be better for it next time because that's what teams are going to do against you. You know, set plays, they're going to try and look at us. You know, they might say, oh, they're, they're quite small. You know, can we physically get in and around them? They're quite inexperienced kind of thing. And, you know, it's something we have to deal with. We've got nine games to go, um, you know, I mean, to make sure that doesn't happen again. Every game is a big game mm -hmm. and every game you want to win and every game is a big three points, but that was a big three points, did it? Yeah, it was. It, it definitely was because I think, you know, 
Dunfermline last week, I'm talking about a good performance and you lose a game 2-0. Kelty Hearts, for 45 minutes, you know, a real strong dominant performance. I mean, probably should have been 2-0 up. You lose the game of football. So today it was about getting that win. And if a performance came with it, then absolutely fantastic, which it did. You know, which it did. And two very different performances, like you said, 70 minutes, free-flowing football, creating chances. Last 20 minutes, you know, defending for your lives and, and doing it well and then having the experience to hold the ball up in the corner. So it was, it was a big three points. And, you know, now we move on. I let the boys enjoy that. And... They have a, a good weekend now, I'm sure. But, you know, for me, as soon as I get home, it's concentrating on Clyde. Um, so, as I said, you know, we'll clip this up, we'll rewatch it on Monday, and then my focus is fully on Clyde, you know, because I want to get, you know, two, three, four, five wins in a row. One win isn't enough for me, and it doesn't kind of, you know, feed the, the appetite that I have. And a big push now for going into the final quarter. Yeah, exactly. You know, as I said, you know, control the controllables. Um, we've got an internal target what we want to hit with, with various different things. Um, so, you know, it's about hitting those targets, definitely, and, and seeing where it puts us. But, yeah, going into the last quarter now, can we make it our strongest quarter? First and foremost, that would be fantastic. Um, but, you know, how many games can we win between now and the end of the season? That's the most important thing. And just a word on Jays, how's Jays been? Yeah, so Jays, um, obviously, you know, came off after 14 minutes. Um, I think it was his fresh air shot that did it. Um, no, listen, he's he's getting better day by day. Um, obviously, you know, he's being re reassessed daily by the, by the, the medical team. Um, and, you know, we'll, we'll just see how long Jays going to be out for. I think we're probably looking around the, the four to six week mark. Um, but, you know, if he can come back quicker, then fantastic. Um, but, you know, we won't rush him back because obviously, you know, we want players out there that are 100%. Um, but he is off the crutches, which is a positive. And the other ones that are sidelines, Stuart Morrison and Paul McKay? Yeah, so Stuart is, is running. You know, he's building himself up. Obviously, he's had the wire removed from his from his ankle. So, uh, you know, he's day by day getting stronger. Paul's been out running again. Um, so, you know, we hope to have him back in the not so distant future. Um, but, you know, Paul's a fantastic player to have around because, you know, he's a real calm head and he demands standards. So even when he is injured, you know, he is he is pulling the standards in training. He doesn't let anyone off of anything. Um, so, yeah, you know, it'd be good to have him back out there because, you know, obviously underneath him, he's played, played a lot of football, a lot of the minutes that I've been in charge.